Listen to me on this, okay? We compete at this contest every year called Skills USA, and we have an amazing opportunity to actually work with um, some Harley engineers, technicians, uh, I think designers. I think there's so many different uh, people within the company that are represented. And when we looked at, uh, you know, a lot of times when we talk about torquing and whatnot, many of us come from that place that we torque stuff in about how many steps? Three. Three steps, right? That's common. A minimum, wouldn't you save two? So if you see a torque spec of something like uh, 30 pounds, it's common that you might go 15 or 20 and then go to the last one. Does that make sense? With, with that understanding in mind, when we were at this contest that Harley-Davidson was putting on, they were making comments how people were torquing some of these small fasteners and they were doing it in multiple steps and how that it was taking time. And my mind was blown. So I'm like, whoa, everybody torques in multiple steps. And they said if they needed that fastener torqued in multiple steps, so if they wanted us to go to 50 inch pounds and then 90 and then 120, they'd tell us so. They say that when they say 90 to 120, kick it 90 to 120. I had one challenge with that, okay? You guys, and I know many of you are watching our Every Mechanic Should Know playlist, that theory completely works if you understand how to install nuts and bolts. And when we install nuts and bolts, our first thing we do is we just kiss the fasteners. That's what we call it. We have a little joke around here. Just kiss it. Don't marry it. Don't make it one piece yet. We literally just get them up there where we kiss them. And if they ask for a pattern, we're going to kiss in that pattern. But realistically, that first kiss, that first install, that's, that's, a, that's a step. Okay? If you skip that step, okay, and you go right to just sucking this one all the way down, okay, and you torque that to 90 inch pounds, and none of these are even kissed yet, what's it going to do to that plate? It is going to stress it and or whatever part you're putting on. In this case, that's going to be a problem. So let me make sure that we're understanding that, okay? The every mechanic should know part is that, yes, if a service manual only gives you one torque spec and, and you're thinking about flat rate, boom, and you're like, I want to, I want to make time. I don't want to. If I, if I multi-stepped every fastener on this whole engine stall, I would add an hour of time to that job, right? We're not getting paid to do that. But we also have to understand that our multi-step, that first one, that kiss one, that's what it is. Now, you are not going to see and have a belief that if it's supposed to be torqued to 150 foot-pounds, I, I don't believe anybody out there saying just torque it in one step. Okay? They're going to have that understanding that as a mechanic, there's just things you do and things you don't do. Does that seem fair? Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to be clear on that. So you guys know I'm on a pretty passionate quest uh, to really make some changes in technical education, how we deliver it. All right, so you might be asking yourself, who's this Shane Conley guy that thinks he has anything to say, or why would he, uh, you know, take on something Harley Davidson University or any manufacturer, for instance, has to say about a topic? And man, I asked myself that same question. I was like, why am I struggling with this whole deal? They said torque it in one step, torque it in one step. I mean. You know, I don't have an engineering degree. I'm, you know, I'm just nothing, you know, that special. I'm just a guy. But um, as I chewed on it and I came back to teach and I thought, man, I'm going to, you know, there's no way. I know I learned it somewhere. I'm going to figure out where I learned it. I've really been challenging myself to think that way. Don't just assume you, you know something. You know, discover it. Find it. Where was it at? So I dug through all my textbooks. I got tons of them here. And I pulled out my favorite old trusty service manual that I love is the Honda Common Manual. And after this video, I'm going to make another little video about this. And I'm also going to make a little video about Harley University, Dale Cohn's book that we have in our curriculum now that is amazing. Amazing, thank you. I'll make another little video. But just in the summary here, let's talk about this. So I opened up the Honda Common Manual, and I get to their uh, general section on fasteners. And what does it say? Torque in multiple steps. Woohoo! I'm right. Yeah, you know, I learned it somewhere. And... Uh, so I just thought, how can this be? And then I looked in some other service manuals and saw that they didn't list to do it multiple steps. And I saw more and more material, and that just hit me. Hit me like a ton of bricks. Here's what the deal is. It's We all agree on the same thing. Every one of us. Those people at Harley-Davidson University that day, they 100% uh, you, you torque in multiple steps. What they're telling us is that we didn't need to set our torque you know, gauge 
in multiple steps. But every single mechanic on the face of the earth torques in multiple steps. We just aren't calling the first step necessarily a torque step. We aren't, you know, a specified step. And my whole struggle with the, uh, you know, torquing something, you know, to a max number is the fact that you have to make sure that you kiss. And I talked about that in the video and how to do that. So I won't, I won't go into that again here. But I think that uh, it's very, very overlooked in a lot of entry level skill sets that first step of kissing realistically is a, a torque value. It's just, it's not measured. It's, it's still a tightening to, you know, a, a kissing level and just pulling that whole part down even. And so uh, I think where my, my passion really comes behind this is that it's really being able to identify such individual steps um, in our in our training and we take a lot for granted so I'll just kind of summarize with this is that us us instructors and uh, employers bosses we take a lot for granted that everybody should just know this and it's the whole you know foundation behind this playlist is that we don't do that we make sure that when we give instructions or we teach or we coach or we mentor or whatnot don't take anything for granted. We have to keep in mind that our our clientele, our students, if you will, our uh, people that we're going to mentor to, they are not from the same generation we came from. And I'll, I'll tell you though, you know, I'm not getting a big political thing or anything else, but you know, this country, it's it's uh, it's it's in deep it's in deep trouble for just the the accountability and integrity that you know you we typically see it's just not like it used to be i mean geez i think about you know the the men that came alongside me and taught me they uh they taught me well and uh, i'll honor them i'm gonna honor them and and uh and how i do my own work and, and try and even do it better i think there's a lot of people out there that didn't have you know mothers and fathers that came alongside them real encouraging and and uh, taught a lot of those ethics. So we, we have them. They're in front of us. We can capture it, try as much as possible. And that is a pretty dang long summary for uh, just being wrapped around the fact of tightening bolts for the first step. But I want to thank uh, Harley-Davidson University. I want to thank uh, you know numerous people that continue to teach me, continue to make me better. So anyway, have a great day. Keep on wrenching.